got a cape blazer. <laughs> so I have seen these all over TikTok and I thought girls looked so cute in them and I really keep forgetting that. I get too excited about it and then I'm like, ah. Hey everyone, welcome back to Alleyways, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you haven't already, please, please, please join the Alleyways family, subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me if you would give this video a big thumbs up and turn on post notifications so you know when I have new content. We are back today with another clothing haul here on the channel. I got all of these things off of Amazon. I found an incredible new store. Um, I'm so excited about these pieces. I'll have links and my personal measurements in the description box down below in case you want to check any of these out. But uh, let's not wait anymore. Let's go try on some clothes. All right, so we're going to kick things off with this whole look, starting with these pants. I'm going to come up close so you all can see the pattern. I know from further away they just look charcoal gray, but up close they have this really cool texture, this really nice kind of pleats in the front, a tortoise shell button. Um, they do not have pockets. I was just looking for them. But I loved these trousers. I wear trousers all the time. I wear them to work or running errands, and I didn't have a charcoal pair. I loved these. I love how they're kind of like a hit at the ankle, a little gathered, nice and loose. I just think they're so chic and um, they're comfortable. They're really lightweight and kind of slick, but not too cold. So these are going to be great because they carry, carry me through winter all the way into spring. Just good classic. I love menswear. I always have. I used to wear it to high school. Um, I just tucked in this blouse. You guys saw the length when I came up close, but here's the gorgeous kind of sagey, sea foamy green color. It has this detail right down the front. I just loved the color. I thought it was beautiful. And I have to have really just basic solid color blouses for work a lot. And I know I'm gonna use this one time and time again. The color's beautiful. It's a really light kind of textured fabric easy for layering um, and I actually got it in another color which you'll see next but I think this together with a pair of black pointed toe pumps and a black blazer would be a great work look. How would you guys style these pieces? Let me know in the comments down below. All right next up we have an entire outfit that I'm so excited about so let's just break it down piece at a time starting with this blouse. So this is our same blouse from our last outfit. You can see it's the really nice light blouse with just this one little detail down the middle. I love that these are really um, opaque, even though they're so light and sheer, and you can see how easy it is to layer. A great color. I love these bright, bold colors. I think sometimes when you're dressing for work, it really makes you feel more energized to wear a fun color. I know it does for me at least. And um, I know that this is something I'm going to wear a lot. They do have this blouse and other color options as well. So don't be surprised if you see it again on the channel. A great basic. So over the blouse, I layered this really light, swishy, window pane black and white plaid blazer. Look how light this is. I, I, I don't know how to communicate to you all how light and comfortable this is. This is so, to me, such a great piece because as we move into spring and summer, the weather's unpredictable and you need light layering pieces just to have yourself covered in case the weather gets crazy um, and also to help keep you comfortable. I love that this brings like a geometric element to a look because on its own, this yellow blouse with just the skirt that we'll talk about in a moment could be a little drab. Throw a pattern on over it and it just adds something fun and interesting. And in the black and white color, you can literally style it with anything. I love it. It has a notched lapel and it does have pockets, which I also love. Great piece. Last but certainly not least, we have this black skirt. I love a skirt because you can have a little bit of a shorter length, but you feel totally covered. This one is stretchy. Look at this. It's a stretchy kind of fabric, has this cute little notch detail in the front, and then you can tell in the back it is short. It's a shorter length, but again, totally covered, so I feel really comfortable wearing it. I would pair this with black over the knee boots for a really cute look for a shoot, um, for a meeting, really anything, a great street style look. I love this entire outfit and I have to say everything feels so good on. It's so light and comfortable. There's nothing itchy. There's nothing that's too tight. Um, there's no fabrics that are stiff. So that's always something I'm really cognizant of when I'm shopping online is how the materials feel in person. I'm going to throw on a different layer that I'm really excited about. 
I got a cape blazer. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I have been seeing these um, and I absolutely love them. I love that it's just something more dramatic, edgy, and fashion forward than a standard blazer, but also gives you the coverage. So I'll come up close so y'all can see. This is a really gorgeous cape blazer. It has nice padded shoulders. It just falls really straight and hits at about the mid, middle upper part of your thigh. Um, it's not a long cape, so it's going to be just dramatic enough that you can get away with wearing it pretty much anywhere. I love this. It's a really nice light fabric. It has a lot of motion. And something you may not know is a lot of times on photo shoots, you do have to provide your own clothes. And so I like to have unexpected pieces like this in my wardrobe to really add something interesting to a shoot. I just love this. I think it looks great with this as an entire look. Okay, <laughs> let's go put on a different skirt. Okay, so next up we have this plaid skirt. Now this is a skirt, not a skirt. It is a mini skirt. I love this little notch detail here. And even though it looks kind of like it's wool, it's not. It's a really nice um, slick kind of nylon blend. I love the colors. So there's green, red, white, yellow, and navy blue, which is fun because then you can style it with any of those. I just put it with our yellow blouse. And this is why I love getting basic pieces like this. You can see really quickly, we just made three different outfits with one piece in our closet, which means we're going to wear these again and again to get the most use out of them, which is really important. I just think this is so cute. It is simple, basic, sassy. You can style it any number of ways. Um, this is what it looks like in the back. I can't wait to do a shoot in this. We have another plaid skirt next. <laughs> I also forgot to point out, it does have a zipper on the side, a functional zipper on the side, which makes it really easy to get into and out of, as well as a hook and eye at the top so it clasps and um, feels really quality. So next up, we have this plaid skirt, which is so different from anything I have in my closet, which is why I got it. I always like to push myself to try new things um, and explore trends. So I have seen these all over TikTok and I thought girls looked so cute in them and I really wanted to try one. So as you can see, it's kind of a pleated plaid skirt, reminiscent almost of a cheer skirt, but it has this kind of cool little utility-ish belt and then look over here it has two silver hooks and then like a little mini wallet with a buckle it is black and white which like our blazer is going to make it super easy to style it's a little bit longer it hits just above the knee which is nice if you're looking for something um, with a little more length as compared to our mini skirt um, it's a nice kind of thick fabric but again not wool it feels like a blend but it is still warm i just think it's so cute and different and I'm gonna look for some style inspo for how I should style like girls online. I just look so adorable in these. So if you know how to style this, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm so excited to wear this. Forgot again. It also has a zipper on the side. <laughs> Sorry, I keep forgetting that. I get too excited about it and then I'm like, ah. But yeah, zipper on the side right here. <clears throat> okay, so. Full disclosure, total transparency. I ordered this set in three different colors because I thought it was so cute. This is a pajama set. And just like Christmas, every Easter, the Easter Bunny brings my sisters and I pajamas. And I saw these and I thought we each needed one and we needed to match. Um, this is the one I picked out for myself. It is a kind of dusty rose color that right now is looking the exact same shade as my skin, but I really love it. And once I get a tan, it will look better, but it is kind of a waffle knit top with just this little notch. It's cropped. And then here are the fuzzy shorts. They are so soft, you guys. They feel like a teddy bear. And then it has this little waffle knit um, drawstring. It's a, just a dummy drawstring. It's not functional, um, but it's really cropped. Kind of looks tiny, but it's really comfortable and so cute. And I'm really excited to give these other two to my sisters. Uh, they also have these in tons of other colors. So if you like this, uh, check it out. Also, I think it would be really cute if you were traveling and you wanted to take a cute like photo on the bed to pair it with an oversized cardigan that was creamy colored. I think that'd be such a cute photo idea. So don't be surprised if you see that on my feed. Um, but I'm just gonna put on the other colors really quickly so y'all can have a point of comparison. So let's go do that now. Here is the next set. I'm thinking that this color is probably better for my skin tone. 
definitely better. <laughs> Meredith is tanner than me, so she should probably get the pink one. But again, all the same features, drawstring, notch, waffle knit. Here's what it looks like in the back. I thought this color was so gorgeous. And the next set is really similar. So it's a, this brown top, but with taupe bottoms. So I'm gonna go put that color on and I want you guys in the comments down below to vote and like say which color you like best and then tell me which shade belongs on which sister because most of you on the channel know me, my sister Meredith and Courtney. So which one should go to which sister? And last but certainly not least, the taupe and brown set. So I love that this has the taupe shorts but with the the brown tie, really cute. They're just so soft and comfortable and I love giving and getting pajamas as a gift. I don't know why, it's just a thing. Like that, house shoes and bathrobes, I love and I give them to a lot of my friends. I'd be tickled if somebody got me this, I'm just saying. So something that I've learned in gifting people pajamas is that everybody has a really personal preference on what they like to sleep in. Some people like shorts and a t-shirt, some people like things like a sweatsuit, some people like long pants and a long top. I wanted to have some options in case the sleep shorts tank top combo was not your thing. And that is when I saw these gorgeous silk kind of palm frond pink and green button downs. I love the white piping. I love the white buttons. I love the piping on the sleeve. This set just feels so luxurious. And it, to me, feels like pajamas I would take on vacation. I love these. They're so comfortable. Um, and it just feels like a treat to wear something like this to bed. So I think it's a great gift idea. They're beautiful, they're comfortable. And if you don't like this pattern, they have them in a ton of other options online. But to me, this just screamed vacation PJs. All right, two piece sets next. So on their shop, I saw this two piece set and I thought it could function as pajamas, athleisure, uh, or just a really great travel outfit, to be honest with you. I'm gonna come up close so y'all can see. It is a waffle kind of knit thermally set. I hope you can see the texture. Hopefully that works. But it has this really cute crop top and then these leggings. And I love two piece sets because I feel like if you get a really good value, this is a good price for getting two pieces. And then with something like this, it's so great just to have a black crop top and a black pair of leggings. You can mix and match these with any number of other things in your closet and get a lot of wear out of these. These are really soft and feel really warm because they feel kind of thickly knit. This is the exact kind of thing I like to travel in. I like to throw a big cardigan on over and just be comfortable, a pair of white tennis shoes and I'm good to go. It looks put together because it's matching and coordinating, um, but you get to be comfortable, especially when you're traveling or just running errands. I would run errands in this. I also got it in a really pretty other color <laughs> uh, because when I like something, I really like it and I knew I was gonna love this and now that I have it on, I know I'm going to wear it all of the time. So let's go try on the other color. I also got it in blue gray. I thought this color was so beautiful and I always worry about ordering colors on Amazon and then them getting it in person and them looking different. <sighs> this did not disappoint. One thing I want to point out, it has this little drawstring here, but it's just a dummy drawstring. So it doesn't cinch, but it's actually pretty fitted. It fits true to size, perfect. Um, but if you wanted a little bit of a looser fit, you'd probably need to size up. But I expected it to be fitted, so I really love it. This is what it looks like in the back. Which color do y'all like better, black or this kind of blue gray? I feel like with this, it's a little harder to get away with wearing it day to day. But maybe that's just me being in my head. Like, this looks more like pajamas to me. Am I, am I the only one that thinks that? Let me know. Last, but certainly not least, we have this gorgeous maxi dress. I try and save something fun for y'all for last. I hope you guys know I do that. I try and save something that's really interesting or dramatic for the last piece. And I saw this one and I thought that's gonna be last in the haul. It's this gorgeous black and gold print maxi dress that looks like a wrap, but it's not actually. There's like a little elastic waistband there. So it has this tie that comes with it. And I always like when 
something looks like a wrap dress that actually isn't because it's more comfortable for me personally. Whenever you do have a wrap dress that's a true wrap dress, I kind of worry about it becoming unwrapped. So something like this is ideal. I pulled it off the shoulders, but um, on the, online it's like this. I just thought it looked really, I love everything off the shoulder. Which way do you like it better? Uh, it has this really nice cinched wrist that kind of gives the ends a little bit of a like puff sleeve look. It's a great length because it's not dragging the floor and I'm 5'6", so and I feel like a lot of dresses, maxi dresses, just completely drag the ground and end up making me look really short. So I love the length and it's a really slick material. It has a really nice feel to it. I can't wait to wear this somewhere. Where should I wear it? Let me know. Okay, that's our haul. Let's go sign off. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. As always, a massive thank you to my live chat crew who is here with me. Live chat crew, I love you so much. If you all are looking for kindness, community, and friendship, please join us Wednesdays and Sundays at least most Wednesdays and Sundays at 8 p.m. Central here on the channel. We are live chatting on premieres and we would love to have you. If you have any questions, let me know, but I think that's it for now. I love you all and I can't wait to see you next time right here on Alleyways. Bye.